And now it's time for more of Southern California's sports fishing voice. Let's talk hookup. This portion of the show is sponsored in part by Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup. Rancho Leonero, where your wildest Baja dreams come true. Maui Gym Sunglasses, the choice of the best captains. Shimano Rods and Reels, fish with the best Shimano. And by Yamaha Outboards, official motor sponsor of Let's Talk Hookup. Here we go. Another great hour of Southern California's sports fishing voice. Let's talk hookup. Here's Pete Gray and rock god Rick Maxa. Welcome back. Hour number two. Let's talk hookup on the Mighty 1090. Pete Gray here with rock god Rick Maxa. Man, what a show. Buzz Briz and I from the Prowler talking fishing here. Talking a great time and giving away one amazing prize today. Thanks to Buzz. You're not kidding that, man. We are having so much fun. Phones have been absolutely packed. I know it's been very difficult to get through, and unfortunately they are all full right now. But there's going to be an opportunity for you in this hour. You stay tuned. Two ways that you can reach us. As soon as you hear a call drop off, that's your chance to call. 858 area code 457 1090. One more time, 858-457-1090, or try the toll-free number. That one's 877-792-1090. Again, 877-792-1090. Pete mentioned that great prize. How about that? One lucky caller at the end of the show today is going to get to go fishing aboard a limited load trip, aboard the Prowler coming up for this year, which... I mean, I was gonna, I was gonna say, which I'm sure is gonna be a great one. Well, it is already a great yeah, one, and you're gonna get is. to, you're yeah. gonna get to be a part of that. So That's we really cool. appreciate. And that trip's gonna be uh, whenever you want to go. Whenever you want to go. Whenever there's availability. Yeah. Yeah. You'll just take care of it through Fisherman's Landing, and we got you covered. Yes, and, and uh, there's so cool. you know, whenever we've got a overnight. One day, that's they're right. on. You, yeah. And you have to get, pay your permits. And, yes, and, and uh, go fishing. And then go fishing. That's right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that's awesome, there you guys. Go. Thank hey, you. Hey, I want to remind you, it's summer. And that means our San Diego County Ford Dealer Live Remotes are in full swing. And the next one, coming up July 4th, which, believe it or not, is less than two weeks away. Crazy. Two weeks from yesterday uh, at Mossy Ford in Pacific Beach. Great guys over there at Mossy Ford, Owen Mossy and his, his guys. Really, really, they're fishermen, and they really enjoy having us over there. They always put out the red carpet for us, too. This is going to be your next chance to qualify for the big grand prize, a trip for one to Kingfisher Charters in Sitka, Alaska, including round-trip ticket from San Diego to Sitka on Alaska Airlines. Oh, geez, Unbelievable. Cool Four price, nights though. lodging at Kingfisher, three days of fishing on their amazing fleet, and all your fish processing. You can also win a trip on the Blackjack, with a new blackjack, courtesy of Dana Landing. I want to thank Stephen over there at Dana Landing for that. We have Shimano Rods and Reels, Maui Gym gift cards, and if and an AFCO clothing package. And whether you make the cast or not, you know, the winner of the casting contest and then a random winner drawn from those in attendance at the end of the show will go into the hopper, one of eight qualifiers for that grand prize for the trip for one to Kingfisher Charters uh, and on Alaska Airlines. And the prize cowboy will be there. He'll have a ton of stuff to give away just for showing up. Hey, it's coming up July 4th at Mossy Ford in Pacific Beach uh, at 7 to 9 a.m. Come on down. Have, uh, Ron Lane is going to, from Fast Lane, is going to be there. He's going to have some kayaks there. You can uh, check out the new, uh, the new uh, Fast Lane kayaks from Hobie there. And your chance to win. That great trip to Kingfisher Charters on Alaska Airlines. And you can see the rules and details on the trip on our guest page, hookup1090.com. Dart, what's going on? Hey, Bob. Good morning, Pete, Rick, and Skill. Hey, good morning, Dart. How you doing, buddy? Bob Fletcher. Happy Father's Day, Bob. Hey, thank you. And back at everybody out there. Uh, it's going to be a good day. And uh, I'm just coming off what was a tremendous fishing challenge between the San Diego Yacht Club and the Southwestern Yacht Club and the Coronado Yacht Club in the Bay Bass Challenge. Whoa! Oh, nice. And how who we, was the victor? How did we fare? Let me tell you, Rick, they needed you over at Southwest. <laughs> <laughs> San Diego Yacht Club swept all three categories to win hands down. It was a great day on the water. Wow. Well, there you go. Oh, cool. Whoa. Very fun. Darn. Showing you let it's not just you. about blowboaters. Let me tell you about <laughs> one other thing. I was with Louis Zim on the Shearwater and my son Rob and a young up-and-comer who you'll probably hear more from later. His name is Cole Harris. He's 12 years old. He caught the biggest other and the biggest halibut so that we on the Shearwater could help the Yacht Club win this year. How cool. Wow. Quite a deal. Wow. Nicely so done, what Dart. were the big fish? 
Well, we got a, about a 10-pound halibut that he caught right before we had to go in, and we also he caught a beautiful six-plus-pound short fin corvina. Ooh, that's nice dandy. Yeah, yeah, nice one. Very nice. And those were the other the other categories. That's it. So yeah, bass, yeah, bass, halibut, and other. It was a great day, and I'm just thrilled to see Cole. He was grinning from ear to ear. <laughs> I'll bet. Well, that's cool, Dark. Congratulations on the big victory. Dark didn't place anything? Uh, I I cleaned the smaller fish out so that Cole <laughs> could get the big There fish. you go. Well <laughs> done, Dart. <laughs> well done. All right. Well, that sounds like fun, Dart. Sure appreciate the uh, update on the uh, the the big ch- the big yacht club challenge in the San Diego Bay. Yeah, it was a it was a good one. We're tickled and uh, Skill. I'm proud of you. You continue to uh, star for the sport fishing industry at the uh, PFMC and uh, uh, keep up the good work. I know you're uh, you're up there fighting for our rights and we uh, appreciate it. Well, thanks, Art. I appreciate that. And uh, just uh, real quickly, I I just got renominated so. Hey, For another right. three years, at least, the battle goes on. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. Awesome. Yeah. And, and there's also some good. You uh, had to get it. Dude. Yeah. And there's also some good news on the uh, on the California Fish and Game Council, right? Well, the commission. Commission, excuse me. Right. The, there were two new appointments, uh, Commissioner Mike Sutton and Commissioner Richard Rogers, were replaced on Thursday by the governor, and there are two new commissioners, and uh, I guarantee you that there will be some efforts to educate them on uh, how important recreational angling is to California. Good riddance to Sutton yeah. and Rogers. Yeah, Man, awesome those is. guys were the biggest... I don't know. I don't have a word for it right now that I can say on the the radio. I I, I can think of those guys (laughs) were so damaging to sport fishing and the California Fish and Game Commission. I mean, good riddance. Get out of here. Leave the state. I guarantee you that it was uh, not our finest hour when we had to deal with them on the MLPA. Yeah. So that's really, really good news and good for future of fishing for sure. Roger, Roger. Hey, great show. Have a good day, Dart. Thanks, Dart. Appreciate the call this morning. Let's go ahead and jump back into the phone. You got it. Well, they're still jam packed. Next up, we're talking to Cliff. He's calling us from Lakewood this morning. Cliff, good morning. Thanks for hanging in there with us. Good morning and happy Father's Day to everyone out there. How are you guys doing? Great, Great. Cliff. Good morning. Hey, I heard that the, the signers out of San Pedro, which I didn't know they had them, are wrapping tuna about by that 14. Is that true? They have wrapped some. I think it's uh, most recently yellowfin, but they have a small quota of bluefin, which, you know, they're going to take. Uh, so, yes and yes. Regulated fishery, they have a quota that they need to That's follow, right. and they, they'll do that and make their living. And Yeah, that fishery has slid over the, wa- over the border, so they're allowed to take in U.S. waters. Right. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Nothing we can do about it, Cliff. That's Just try to beat them to the punch if we can. That's it. That's <laughs> what you can do. Thanks a lot yeah. for the call this morning. All right. How about next up? We talk to Dennis. He's calling us from San Diego this morning. Hi, Dennis. Welcome to the show. Good morning. How are you guys? Happy Father's Day. Same right. to you, yeah. Dennis. Thanks, Dennis. I have a question, and it's regarding. Oh, man, that much we energy. Lost. I was going to yeah. say, that would be quite a question. <laughs> yeah. All right. The phone might have overloaded yeah. there. So. <laughs> All right, well, hey, let's jump back into the phone. This time we're going to talk to Harry. He's calling us from La Jolla this morning. Hi, Harry. Welcome to Let's Talk Hook Up. Well, good morning. Hey, Harry. Good morning, Harry. Uh, Pete, I want to go on that trip uh, on September the 11th, and I made three phone calls this morning and can't seem to get through to the right people. Is there a suggestion on how I might go with that uh, trip with you? Well, uh, that is uh, one. I, I, which is tackle one store the, is it booked through? Is that the one in the San Diego? Yeah, it's the one in the San Diego on, 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 on September 11th. And uh, looking at the uh, trip here, it looks like it's uh, going to be booked through uh, – Fisherman's Hardware in Huntington Beach. So did you call that number on the on there from Fisherman's Hardware? I did, and no, there was no answer. Well, um, they're probably not open yet. This could be yeah, a Sunday. Yeah. Okay. Probably just Sunday, Sunday Father's day. day. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But I know that okay. there's a, a, at least a handful of spots left on that, uh, and you're wise, very, very wise for getting on that because for $90 for a Shimano Let's Tuck Hook Up on the Water Seminar three-quarter day in September, on the San Diego, are you kidding me? That, that could be a variety pack, yeah. right there. Yeah, and and I'll tell you that the 
that was like the key trip to be on last year because it's it's limited to you know whatever the charter load is, which is lesser than an open party trip. But there's no more money, so yeah. you know I can I flash forward going ahead. This is how September is going to be. That boat's <laughs> going to be packed, every spot full, every day catching offshore yellowfin. And the few people that are thinking about it now are going to get to basically have darn near half the load that there would normally be for the same price. And use all the Shimano tackle for there. free. Bonus. And have uh, giveaways on the on the boat. <laughs> Harry, you've been on a Shimano Let's Talk. You just were on the kayak oh, trip. It's absolutely. a great time, right? That's why I want to go on this. They're just so <laughs> incredible. They get to use the gear. Uh, it helps me pick what I buy. And uh, I have fun with you guys. Yeah, we have a great time. Hey, Harry, about. so just give it an hour or so and then call... Fisherman's Hardware in Huntington Beach, and uh, book your spot. Will do. Thank All you. Right. Thanks, Thanks a lot for the call this Bye. morning. You know, I might add, too, you go on our website, hookup1090.com, go to the trips page, and if you want to go on any of those remaining uh, Shimano Let's Talk Hook Up on the Water seminars that we talked about, the three-quarter day on the Dana Pride on August 28th, the three-quarter day on the San Diego on uh, September 11th, and the Oceanside 95 that's coming up pretty quick, the one day on the Oceanside 95 on July 18th, just go to the website, hookup1090.com, go to the trips page, click on that particular trip, and it'll give a description of where you book that particular trip. In addition to that, all the trips that we have on our website, hookup1090.com, we have three Alaska trips in 2016. Yes, we're already talking 2016 because Alaska is a very, very popular deal. We talked about the trip to Kingfisher yesterday right. that Rick just came back from. That's a Amazing. very popular trip. It's going to fill up instantly. Uh, it leaves on Father's Day next year, uh, the 21st of June. So you have one year from today to start planning. <laughs> but, you better, but I'm just telling you, yeah. you better book. And then um, we have, of course, the uh, the new trip that we have in there, which I'm really excited about, the Katmai Lodge trip. Uh, Katmai Lodge is just uh, – the only way I can describe it is, is it's a place you need to go in your lifetime. It is just an amazing experience. It's the most epic freshwater uh, river fishing you'll ever see, along with the most amazing uh, natural wildlife of Alaska. A and you catch big kings in the river, um, sockeye salmon, silver salmon. Um, you'll catch giant rainbow trout on mouse patterns. Uh, it, and you'll do all this wh while you're looking at bears and moose it's and so uh, cool, Alaskan man. wildlife. And it's just a pristine, remote wilderness area. In a, in a great five-star style deluxe lodge. So Katmai Lodge, that's on our trip in July. Uh, they also have openings this year at Katmai, too. They're great people, and it's a new owner, and they've really uh, put a lot of money into Katmai this year. And, and, and so this year they have some late June uh, trips right now. Uh, they have uh, uh, trips in, in July and then in August. So katmai.com and you can check out our trip next year it's we only have 12 spots on it i believe they're already half full for our trip next year uh so if you want to go uh you better jump on that and then in august of next year we have our whalers cove trip and this the next year 2016 we're giving you two options we have a three day and a four day or a seven days actually it's oh, that's cool three options so they have three different packages so you can go for the three day you can go for the four day or you can go for the seven day in August, which is absolute prime time up there. My so. arms might fall off. <laughs> oh man! I'm telling you what. All this information, along with all of our trips, are out there, uh, including that you know the one coming up that's really exciting is the Palmas de Cortez Fall Spectacular, where you're going to have a chance to win a thousand dollars cash, courtesy of George Weir Asphalt in Escondido for the largest tuna dorado or wahoo caught. On that trip, I, I want to throw one more trip out for you. I've got a trip in September on uh, mm. the Cedros Adventures trip, oh, and that's uh, right. same deal. You know, fills out every year, and and surprisingly, it's not already. No, no question that it will. It, it'll be sold out by the by when it comes around. But there is a couple openings, and in fact, there's a couple openings for a for a group. You know, and that's usually the thing. Once you get later towards the time, there's usually one spot, one spot. So if you got a couple of buddies, there's actually a few spots opening. If you want to go fishing with me at at one of the funnest trips we do all year long. Oh, I mean, yeah. As prime time as it gets for big surface iron, yellowtail, and big calico bass. So if you want to come fishing with me in September, I'd love to do this. We're, you know, we're going. The trip's happening. There's plenty of people already. But there is some group. Uh, there is a spot for a group or two if you want to come fishing with me uh, at Cedros Adventures. Yeah. One of the coolest Great spots time the of the world. year. Yeah. And if you're going to Cedros, 
That is the place. That's, it's Sage's Not Adventure is the one. Yeah. They are they're the ones that do it the best. While you're at on our website, check out the new Angler's Table recipe. It's pan-seared tuna with lemon and caper relish. Of course, uh, my wife Lolly did that, and I had to sample it. And it's, <laughs> tell you, it's, so it's good, an dude. amazing recipe. It's uh, really, really neat. It's uh, uh, done with... Uh, uh, Preserve lemons and, and capers, it's it's phenomenal. You can use bluefin, yellowfin, or you can even use whitefish with it. And then, of course, the other one is the photo of the week is has to be yeah, Gary's no grand prize there. That's the 360 halibut that he caught at Kingfisher last week. So it's all on our website, hookup1090.com. Let's jump right back into the phones. We're going to talk to D. He's calling us from Laguna Beach this morning. Good morning, D. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Oh, good morning, you guys. Great hearing from you. You know, I have a concern here. Why the, the San Diego boats aren't allowed to clean fish in Mexican waters? That's one thing. Like, take a five-day trip. Five-day trip is like $1,500 on, on the longer-range boats. And then you include the tip, which is minimum 50%. So that's 275 And let's say you catch five fish of, from 15 to 30 pounds a day. So that'd be a hundred pounds of fish at seventy-five cents a pound. That's three hundred and seventy-five dollars to clean fish. You know, so it comes out to be about twenty-one hundred dollars for a five-day trip. Now, all the deckhands who can't clean fish because of this regulation, I mean, they must be taking a, a big loss. There's hundreds of deckhands who, who can't clean fish anymore, and they lose wages. You know, not every person. Not every fisherman have have deep pockets. I know I haven't, and I know the deckhands haven't. I just want to know how how did this thing start? Why did it start? And who initiated it? Okay. You know, as far as the, yeah, that's a Mexico that. rule. You know, yeah. I mean, that's not Mexico uh, says you can't fillet on the boat, right, it, Buzz? That's right. That's the bottom line. And and here's the deal. You know, there's way too much emphasis by some people. Put on how much you're bringing back. Like, you know, when you go to uh, Alaska, how many boxes That's of fish am I, I bring back? If it's more. really that important to you, how many, how much fish you have in the freezer, just go to Point Loma Seafoods. Don't even bother going on the trip. I mean, aren't you going on the trip for the adventure, for the thrill of catching fish? Uh, I mean, certainly it's a nice bonus to have uh, a nice catch and bring home uh, some great fillets and eat it. I love doing that. But... You, you shouldn't. Your emphasis shouldn't be on how much you're bringing back. It should be on the adventure. And to be slightly more direct to the one you talked about, it, it's a bit of a sliding scale for sure. A, a shorter range trip still has. I mean, yes, there are new fillet reg, re, regulations, but your fish is still absolutely going to get filleted on a shorter trip. Mm-hmm. And on a longer trip where the fillet service isn't more, y, you know, let's face it, you have a clientele that is a little more apt to, you know, to offer a little more gratuity. And it, and it all it all comes across. You know, a guy going on a five day trip is usually a little more aware that taking care of the crew members is a more you know is a more appropriate part of the program where maybe the guy that's on a shorter trip doesn't know quite as much so it it all balances itself out all right you bet hey thanks a lot for the call this morning let's go live now to captain dave hansen your saltwater guy good morning dave hey good morning you guys good morning happy father's day to all you fathers good morning dave what's up dave <laughs> good morning buzz Let's say Happy hey. Father's Day to your father, because yeah, he is certainly one. one of the icons Ab- of the industry. Absolutely. That, that's an amazing man right there. He is. And we still can tell him Happy Father's Day. That's really cool. That's really cool. <laughs> that's <for> sure, Dave. <laughs> good morning. Yeah, it is. Well, good morning, everybody. Once again, what a spectacular week. I mean, you can't, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> right? Yellowtail. Yellowtail, yellowtail, white sea bass. I was able to go into an area where Brandon Hayward's been catching some fish and poach my biggest one I've ever caught. Ah, nice. <laughs> that, was well a, that was a dandy. Yeah. yeah, that was my biggest fish I've ever caught. I've seen my clients catch bigger, but usually I'm not there holding the pole when one of those things bites when somebody else is. But this time I got to wind it in. It was pretty spectacular. Brandon was pretty upset that I wasn't <laughs> able to take one of his pets out of his pen there. <laughs> but, um, guys, the Yellowtail, we got the Yellowtail shootout coming this weekend. What a spectacular time to have the Yellowtail shootout. If you were thinking about entering this tournament, this is the year to do it. Oh, yeah. Unbelievable Yellowtail fishing everywhere. You name it. I mean, you can go out with Buzz and go catch some quality Yellowtail on the kelp patties. You can go up to 
the 150 out of any boat out of San Pedro and go catch some of the most unbelievable yellowtail up to 40 pounds on the half-day boat, on the three-quarter day boat. You can run over to Catalina or San Clemente Island, catch quality yellowtail from the five-pound fish up to 30-pound fish at either one of the islands. Kelp patty fishing, it doesn't matter. There's just yellowtail everywhere. If you want to see something really cool, go out on a sport boat and go look at all the tuna. It's like going to SeaWorld. <laughs> There's tuna everywhere. It, it doesn't matter where you go. You get to go out and look at them. And it's pretty spectacular to see them. This is what happens every time, guys, in June. This is – Buzz and I will tell you. My dad will tell you. June, all these fish come pouring into our waters, and then they eat all the food that's here. And as soon as they're done eating all the food that's here – they're going to start eating the food we have on our boats. So don't get discouraged. Calm down. Everything's going to be okay. July is going to be epic. You guys are going to catch plenty of tuna in July, so just calm down. Mark, you were how, how about those photos you posted on fishdope.com this week? <laughs> of the, you didn't have a rod on the boat, and no. you just saw acres and acres of breaking bluefin. Yeah, I was delivering a boat for Kelly's boss. This thing's total foo foo. It's a prestige. <laughs> it's all teak, the whole boat. I was told by the boss, don't bring a rod. Don't, bring a rod. <laughs> don't you do no it. No blood on the deck. Yeah, don't want to get the boat dirty. <laughs> yeah, because cause they're at the International Boat Show, which I am speaking at today, by the way. At 1 o'clock, I'll be at the International Boat Show. If someone's not out on the water and they want to come listen to a bunch of baloney. <laughs> you can really? You can, at the San Diego Boat Show? Yeah, I've been there all week speaking. I know they they didn't advertise it or anything, so nobody's really showed up yesterday. I talked to five whole people. Oh wow! Well, you know, I was down there yesterday. It's a great show and worth a great day. The great thing to do on Father's Day too, and they yeah. have that nice tent there where you're going to be speaking right at the entrance there. So, and you can go down there and see Maui Mikey, Mike Battistone. He's got the full line of Maui Jim sunglasses, and they have some beautiful yachts, man. They have this one. Did you see that one sport fisher, dude? On, on the, yes, <laughs> yeah. yes, I, I mean, have. I drive all the way. Gosh, yeah, there's some serious. That rigs thing in is there. just beautiful. And then also Cabrillo Yacht Sales are right there uh, sure. down at the landing there uh they have a buddy davis down there uh one of those classic east coast boats that's for sale uh, with brand new engines oh, so yeah bad. really really nice boat so i'm in there's some cool stuff down there at the san diego boat show right and including yeah. captain dave hansen what time are you speaking at one o'clock today but like i was just gonna say None of those boats compare to the Prowler. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Indeed. Well, right. Dave, of course, want to stay, keep track, see amazing pictures of, of uh, fish that Dave can't catch on the, <laughs> on, on, on the website. <laughs> Hook up now is your code to save 20 bucks at fishdope.com, fishdope.com. Hook up, hook up now, all small letters, one word. And, Dave, how do we find you? And if you guys would like me to come with you on your boat and teach you how to use all those electronics you spent all that money on and teach you how to fish on your boat and teach you the proper etiquette to stay out of Buzz Brizendine's way, <laughs> give me a call at 949-374-0786. And like I've been preaching this whole season, guys, stop fishing for boats. you got to start fishing for fish. That's right. You, and there's plenty of fish out there. You can find your own. This right. You guys didn't buy a boat to follow Buzz. Yeah, right. exactly. Hey, Dave, thanks a lot for that, and we'll talk to you next Sunday and see you at the boat show today at 1. All right, guys, thanks. All, All right, right, Dave, thanks take a care. Lot, very much. And uh, I'll tell you what, that is our Catch Report today, sponsored in part by Fisherman's Processing in San Diego. Summer fishing means it's time to call Fisherman's Processing. If you're on a private boat, it's really easy. You just call them the day before, make arrangements to drop your fish off no matter what time it is. Their after hours grow up. You get a tag, you get a lock combo, you put your fish in their slush bin, and then you come back the next day. It's ready to roll. Friend them on Facebook at Fisherman's Processing. For more details, call Fisherman's Processing. Com. I had some fish process over there this week. They're just masters. They're the best. I mean, you take a yellowtail over there, and my new favorite thing, the way Raymond cuts the, the belly off the yellowtail, uh, unbelievable. I mean, <laughs> so it's good. just so, I mean, and I we just cut those off before. I yeah. mean, Raymond's so good with that sharp knife that he can actually preserve all that great meat for you. Awesome. It's just they're, they're, they're just the best they are. Um, also want to mention, too, next Saturday, Ollie and Jason from BD Outdoors and FishDope.com will be here. Yes, it is the Yellowtail Shootout next Saturday from BD Outdoors. And, yes, they will be in the studio 
probably do a play-by-play right there about the Yellow Tail that Shootout. Cool. So that's going to be a great something. show next Saturday right here on the Mighty 1090. All right. Well, hey, we're going to jump right back into the phones. This time we're going to talk to Doug. Doug's calling us from Montebello this morning. Doug, thanks for hanging in there with us. Good morning. Yeah, for Buzz, uh, got to think back a ways. When you first started learning how to drive the boat, what was the hardest part of driving a sport fishing boat? I get maybe lead time because, you know, if, if, if it's the first boat you've ever driven, it's not like a car where it stops and turns at 90 degrees that, and everything else. Sure. you got to get the slide factor in there. So once you get that down, and the rest of it's just practice. There you <laughs> go. Thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. When Appreciate we, that. When we come back, we got more Let's Talk Hookup coming your way, including a big block of phones. You stay tuned. You're listening to Let's Talk Hookup with Captain Buzz right here on the Mighty 1090. Have you ever imagined casting a fly or a lure on one of the most beautiful and productive rivers in Alaska? At Katmai Lodge, you can catch up to all five species of Pacific salmon. The king, sockeye, chum, pink, and silver salmon, along with rainbow trout, arctic grayling, dolly varden, and other native stream fish. When anglers dream of trophy salmon and trout, the Alagnac River is their destination, and Katmai Lodge is the premier base camp. Being the original river-based lodge on the Alagnac gives the facility a leg up on the competition. Both experienced and novice anglers have rated Katmai Lodge and its knowledgeable guides as the best of the best. Katmai Lodge is remote, yet offers all the amenities of a first-class lodge. During your Alaska visit, you'll see amazing wildlife, brown bears, caribou, eagles, moose, otters, and much more. Schedule a day trip on their private de Havilland Otter Float Plane and visit the world-famous Brooks Falls. Book online at katmai.com or call 1-800-330- 0326. That's catmy.com or call 1 800 330 0326 for the fishing adventure of a lifetime. Are you feeling that itch to get out on the water? Come fishing on the American Angler and reacquaint yourself with some familiar faces and make new friends. Captain owners Brian Kiyohara and Sam Patella take pride in every aspect of the American Angler operation, from their loyal and trusted crew to the sashimi grade fresh fish you'll take home. It's easy to find a vacation that fits your schedule. We have everything from day and a half to 10 day trips and longer. Call me at the office, 619-223-5414, or check us out at AmericanAnglersportFishing.com. We want you to become a part of the American Angler family. My angler h 2 o Like the mighty flounder, I will keep one eye on the pole and the other watching for rogue waves. I'll save water by taking shorter showers and enthusiastically celebrate talk like a pirate day. Aye. I will chat up the locals before launching in unfamiliar waters. And I will always, always wear my life jacket. What's your H2O? Tell us at BoatCalifornia.com. The California State Parks Division of Boating and Waterways reminds you to wear it, California. Great boats, free parking, and a fully stocked tackle shop. Just a few of the reasons Seaforth Sport Fishing is a favorite among anglers. Come aboard top charter boats like the Aztec, Cortez, Endeavor, Eclipse, Apollo, Outer Limits, Pacific Star, El Gato Dos, Alexis, Pride, Privateer, Tribute, Pacific Voyager, and the Voyager. Plus, the new Seaforth Sea Watch in San Diego offer the finest half, three-quarter, and full-day trips available. Check out the full-service tackle store at Seaforth Sport Fishing, and it's all right. By fishermen for fishermen. 1717 Quivera Road, just off Mission Bay Drive in Mission Bay. Book online at seaforthlanding.com. Good morning, it's Whitney from Mammoth Lakes, California. Come on up, the water's fine, is what the Eastern Sierra is touting. And in Mammoth Lakes, it's much more than just the water. This summer, our four lakes will be stocked with almost 16,000 pounds of healthy fighting trout. From fishing and biking to hiking and horseback riding, there's a legendary story waiting for adventurers of all ages in Mammoth Lakes. Start planning your next adventure at visitmammoth.com. That's visitmammoth.com. What a tuna and yellowtail season last year. Many say the best in 30 years. Could this season be even better? Don't be caught without the right gear. Now is the time to stock up on the trolling lure that proved to be the best. x wrap Magnum by Rapala. Every x wrap Magnum runs perfect right out of the box. They all have extreme action and a controlled deep diving aggressive swimming motion. The large diving lip partners with premium BMC hooks 
and an irresistible rattle. The x rap Magnum by Rapala can be trolled at high speeds without rolling or kicking out at depths to 15 feet. Bottom line, the x rap Magnum is the ultimate trolling lure for Southern California and Baja saltwater fishing. With a textured translucent body, internal holographic foil, and 3D holographic eye, x rap Magnums are irresistible to saltwater game fish. Available in a variety of colors and sizes. No matter what you choose, the fish can't resist x rap Magnum by Rapala. Ask your local tackle dealer which is the hottest color and size and start catching more fish. See the entire line at Rapala.com. Cast Tours is a family-owned and operated travel company that specializes in taking you to great fishing destinations. They take pride in providing the best and most affordable vacation packages available. For over 20 years, Cast Tours has been creating unique sport fishing and vacation trips. Whether it's a fishing trip, a family vacation, or an adventure, they will provide you the service and value you deserve. Call Cast Tours at 800-593-6510 or check casttours.com. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. Look at who's here. Big Daddy himself, Don Hanson. Good morning, Don. Happy Father's Day. Good morning, and thank you. Uh, happy Father's Day to all you guys. I, I called in to, to say thank you to Buzz for his six years of uh, duty on the Pacific Fishery Management Council and his his uh, reappointment, uh, which was made official yesterday, or Friday, rather, uh, for three more years, his final three years. And it's great to have somebody on there that understands uh, what is going on in this industry. So That's for well, sure. Well, thanks, Don. I appreciate that, and I definitely appreciate all the help and uh, encouragement that you've been. Well, I've only got 40 years with him, so. <laughs> <laughs> and we try and draw on that wisdom, let me That's tell you. Cool. That's really, really we cool. We were also fortunate that uh, David Crabb got reappointed uh, from uh, uh, from California, and then uh, a gentleman that knows a little bit about uh, recreational fishing and et cetera, Phil Anderson, the director of the Department of Washington Fish and Wildlife, was uh, wow. appointed to the council seat. So we've got, uh, we got some, some heavy hitters. There. So we, we, we got some great reappointments. Yeah, Boy, between the Fish and Game Commission and and uh, and the uh, Pacific Fisheries Management Council, scoring there. Yeah, things are going okay. Yeah, yeah are people actually good making there, sense Bob now? Bob Fletcher didn't didn't tell you a lot about the two new commissioners, and uh, uh, Bob should be very happy about one of them. He's a uh, owns a winery in St. Lena, so uh, <laughs> Bob, should, Bob should meet him pretty quickly. And the other gentleman is from Huntington Beach. Uh, Works for uh, uh, Boeing, as I found out here. So anyway, that's very uh, nice. That's uh, very good. And uh, if I was uh, doing what I'm supposed to be doing right now, I'd be in Key West, uh, Florida, at a council meeting. But uh, I passed that one up, and then I'm giving my uh, my alternate to the IITTC is uh, Tim Ekstrom. So he should be down in Ecuador, but I found out he's not going to go. So ah, oh, well, he's you know he's got to work on the Royal Star. So he's got to work a little bit too. Yeah, yeah. He's got to get some of that. Well, in Don, there. happy Father's Day to you. Thanks for all you do. Yeah, great oh, job, Don. Thank you. Buzz, good job. Thank you very much. All right, thank you, Don. Thanks, Don. Let's go ahead and jump back into the phones. They are packed up. Matt in La Mesa, you're up next on Let's Talk Cookup. Good morning, Matt. Hey, good morning, Ricky. Congratulations on all your fishing up there in Alaska. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Um, Buzz, I just wanted to say thank you for all the memories I've had on the Prowler so far, uh, including incredible yellowtail fishing back in the 80s when it was just ridiculous. You could hit the water, you could catch a yellow, and also for catching my first bluefin ever on your boat. Well, excellent. We're, we're not done making memories, and, and this year's uh, yellowtail fishing has been pretty epic all on its own, but I think we got some real memories to come in uh, 2015. Yeah, I hope to get one of those big bluefin this year, and... Uh, you know, when I I remember when I caught my first bluefin, I asked you, well, how do you know it's a bluefin? And you said, well, you just know. And looking back, I see what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, it's just it's just so much fun to fish with you because your knowledge is just unmatched on the overnight boats. And uh, you know, just thanks for your service on the board to protect us for the years to come and everything like that. And uh, Julie for doing all the reservations and. Everything else that's going on there with the boat. Well, thanks. We appreciate that. All right. Thanks a lot for the call, Matt. Appreciate All right. it. All right. How about next up we jump in, talk to Jim. Jim's calling us from National City this morning. Hi, Jim. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Yeah, good morning and happy Father's Day, guys. Indeed, um, Jim. Uh, I've been on the Prowler several times there, and that boat, I think it's around a 65-footer, but the deal is, is there are different boats, different platforms, and that boat and that platform attracts fish for whatever reason i don't know if the engines are quiet whatever 
but the fact that being lowered to the water it kind of sneaks up on them or whatever. Yeah. But I've always had a good experience on that boat, and uh, I just kind of wanted to call in and uh, talk about the excellence of that platform and that boat. Well, thanks. It does seem to get bit well, and we always just attribute that. It uh, seems like Ditmars get bit well. It's a wood boat. It's a wood boat. Yeah, something and about the harmonics, right? It's something about the harmonics and something about the fact that it just drifts ever so slightly stern first. Oh, I love that. that's a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. So you're saying be in the bow. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> no hiding that. Hint, hint. Hey, thanks a lot for the call this morning. Jerry's next up calling us from Montebello this morning. What's up, Jerry? Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Hi, Jerry. Hey, thanks for taking my call. Thanks for joining uh, us. I agree with the, what, what the last caller uh, said about the boat being low to the water and uh, really catching fish. I've been fishing on that boat for about uh, 40 years. And uh, recently, uh, last summer, I took my son out on it, and uh, it's become his favorite boat. Well, that's excellent. Nice. You know, that's one of the things that we really try and pride ourselves in is helping the ge- next generation come along. New techniques. Yeah, I can't believe it's his favorite boat because back in the late 90s, he worked on the XL when he was a teenager. Oh, really? Okay, well, there you go. Summer down there with uh, Pat, Randy, and Mark. Yep. Wow. So anyways, I have a question. When do you think uh, they're going to open up the Bluefin in Mexico? We're all waiting... <laughs> um, with bated breath, so to speak. Yeah. It, you know, it could be any time now. We we just don't know. Are the fish uh, scattered all the way down there? Because I hear, that, you know, a lot of it being uh, caught in U.S. waters. I'm just wondering how far south it goes. I don't know how far south it goes, but I know there's some substantial schools uh, between here and west of Ensenada. We, we've had reports of, of good fish down there. So uh, that'll be a, a, a nice addition to what's yes. already around. Yes, yes yeah. it will. Plenty and I, I, we can promise you that Captain Ken Frankie and the entire staff at the Port Sport Fishing Association of California have been working diligently with the Mexican government trying to g- make this thing happen sooner than later. Tirelessly, you yeah, might say. tirelessly. Unbelievable. And I, I'll tell you, I don't know how he has the patience for I, it. I, I mean, I, I just would want to say, come on, guys, what are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> but... He's got the patience. He knows how to play the politics. And it's, I mean, my message to Mexico is just, come on. Really? Let's make it happen. We're ready. Anyway, we're ready for it. Thanks for the call this morning. John in San Diego. You're up now. Pardon me. John in Fountain Valley. My apologies. You're up next on Let's Talk Hookup. Good morning, John. Good morning. Uh, Buzz, I want to go down memory lane a little bit. Um, about 1980, I took a 15-year-old and a 17-year-old son, San Diego, we started catching albacore, nothing under 40. Then in the early, it went into the 50s. And then you yelled from the wheelhouse, don't gaff that fish, I want to gaff that fish. He ran down and gaffed my son's fish. He was about 15, 63 and a half pounds on a certified scale. We had some huge albacore. This was a, a late, wow, uh, late no season kidding. trip. Yeah. It was like it was 79 or 80, somewhere in that range, had and, and he's 15, and basically, you know, that that was such a great trip, and my son's had a great time, and thanks to you and, and your crew, they still go with me. 25 years later, we went out and caught albacore again on your boat. Wow. They That's great. 45 so, years ago. Those family trips are fun, and they're they're the stuff that definitely, you know, you take pictures and look at them way down so the line. Cool, man. That's My awesome. Goodness. Hey, I got thank pictures, you. Uh, definitely got pictures, and 25 years later, they were in the same spot on the port side on the bow. <laughs> that's that's, that's great. That's yeah. great History to hear. History repeats itself. Thanks a lot for the call this morning. Sam in Irvine, you're up next with Captain Buzz. Good morning, Sam. How are you? Oh, good, thank you. Um, I've uh, everybody seems to have been on the prowler. I've been on it as well. That is a great boat. The, uh, but you know, my question is, 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 is I've been seeing a lot of big bluefin in the county, things like that. Should you take a trolling rod? What would be a, ri- a crossover rig that you could take? I- I've seen like 150 pound yellow. Yeah, uh, there's big ones around. You know, we were talking about that earlier, and it it goes back to I keep talking about this quality 40 pound outfit, yeah. 40 pound, 50 pound outfit uh, with Spectra and uh, either a lever drag or a two-speed, and you can catch just about anything that swims in the Southern California Bight. That's it. There you go. Thanks a lot for the call this morning. All right. How about next up we talk to Bernard, calling from San Diego. Hi, Bernard. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. How you doing? Good morning. Great. Happy Father's Day, everybody. Happy right, Father's yeah. Day. Thank you, Bernard. Yeah, what would be the best setup for uh, Christian Yellowtown on the ocean this weekend? 
local fishing? Probably 25 to 40 pound test line and either set up uh, for fishing sardine with a 2-0 to 4-0 hook or if you like to fish the jigs, uh, some kind of surface iron, a Solace 7 extra, Taddy 45, and you're good to go. So what if somebody doesn't have the gear? What's Can you make provisions on the prowler for them? We have some loaner gear on the boat, uh, okay. but in addition to that, for like a bait rig, a 25-pound or a 40-pound bait rig, the landing has excellent rental tackle. Yeah, and they really take good care they of it, do. too. They do. And yeah. so, uh, especially if like you're going to be yo-yo fishing, one of those narrow foros, I mean, you, you are set for either a yo-yo rig or a heavier bait rig. Every, like if the big bluefin yeah. want to bite. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's one thing that probably a lot of people don't realize. That, you know, like you say, maybe they're out there that have done half day or three-quarter or don't have the, the next step up from gear. But, I mean, the landing has I mean, incredible rental tackles, Shimano, Star Drags for their local rods, you know, for their local reels, Seeker rods. But but on a, in addition to the normal 25-pound stuff, I mean, Narrow Foros, Baja Specials, TLD Two Speeds, you know, International Two Speed. I mean, the landing rents everything a guy would use, and you know, they have multiple full-time employees that do nothing but service that gear. I mean, it's in it's in impeccable shape. And one of the nice things is, you know, you get to try it out, let's say, sure. under real-time circumstance. So it you find out if it may be exactly what you want, or you want to fine-tune it further. Totally. Sure. So a 25-pound and a 40-pound outfit would be the essentials. And you're good to go. You're good. All right. Hey, Bernard, thanks for joining us this morning on Let's Talk Hookup. Hey, we're going to jump right back into the phones. This time we're going to talk to John, who's calling us from Huntington this morning. Good morning, John. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, good morning. First, I uh, want to shout out to all the fathers. Uh, happy Father's Day. Great. And, uh, uh, i got a buddy. Uh, his name is Buddy, and, and he's uh, listening also from Tustin. But anyway, I just wanted to say, ask uh, Buzz. Fishing out uh, to the west this time of year with um, warmer water inside, is it possible the albacore just sitting off the west a little bit and no one's out there looking for them? That's possible. Uh, however, that's quite a ways to the west, and it's pretty tough to, to drive over all of the white sea bass okay. and all of the yellowtail and then all of the various kinds of tuna for a chance at you know something that we don't know much about at this time. So, right. yeah, they could be out there. It, it Mostly depends on the oceanography. Yeah. All I think right. when those things show back up, they're going to make their showing, and we're going to know that it's on as soon as yeah. it's you know, like It's going to be one of those things where we'll have good show. early season conditions, and, you know, it'll be like the old days. The long-range guys maybe see one, catch one, and the planes will see one, catch one, word will get out, and they'll just invade us, you know. When they when they when they want to be found, it, it's they'll make the show. Yeah, showing. they they will make the show and they show in force. And like we talked about earlier, this show the stock is in great shape. So get the water right, and here we go. There you go. All right, and it could happen anytime. A- absolutely, you never know. It's happened before in El Nino. Yes, it has. Yeah. So watch out. Thanks a lot for the call this morning. All right, Brian in Westminster. You're up next on Let's Talk Hookup. What's up, Brian? Hey, Brian. Hey, good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Buzz, I want to know, do you ever run, like, limited load trips, and what's your typical amount of anglers on your typical trips? We All we run is limited load trips, and we take 29 on our day-and-a-half trips, and we take 30 on our overnight trips. Which, wow. Which, if you haven't been on the Prowler, is very spacious. Very spacious. Yeah, and that's that's the beauty of going on that boat, is they're all limited load. And, and just you mentioned that, just yesterday, we put up the schedule for... August. We had June and July up, and now we've got uh, it's on the uh, landing site all the way through Labor Day. Oh, so, really? Okay. Yeah. So, so like, like we talked about, book your day. They're available. You can see what's going on, and this is a good way to not get left at the dock. Yeah. So I could go on right this second and book a Saturday in August. Absolutely. Which we all know is going to be full well before August gets here. Oh, so well th- before. There, there is your yeah. there is your shot. And if by some bizarre chance we do get albacore. <laughs> Watch you, out. Yeah, I, I wouldn't think this year, but we yeah. have had some tremendous post El Nino albacore seasons. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna But do, either way we're gonna catch a lot. I'm, oh, yeah. I'm just gonna be happy with the fact that we've got, you know, <laughs> twenty five to hundred and fifty pound bluefin around and twenty five to fifty pound yellowfin already around and good yellowtail fishing and it just it, this is gonna be such a fun one. And yeah. it's just the first day of summer. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. June twenty first. How about that? Bill Poole always said, shoot the fireworks off, start the, the albacore fishing yeah. or the tuna fishing. And this year maybe, we're, we're way earlier than that's that right. this year. Lots of tuna. Yeah, indeed. Thanks a lot for the call this morning. All right. Richard in Monrovia, you're up next on Let's Talk Hookup. Hi, Richard. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Um, hey, Buzz, Larry mentioned last week something about 
uh, a size limit on yellowtail. And we didn't see what the size was. And I saw some a local store with trout size yellowtail in it, called Fishing Game, and never heard a response back. Is there a size limit on yellowtail? There, there is, but I think it's something. Uh, I think it's five and five. Mm-hmm. You can get five under twenty four mm-hmm. inches. Yep. And five over. So that you know what they were doing sounds to me like it was completely legal. It's just they're filling in their smaller size. Yeah, which we hope people release them because those are just juveniles. Yeah. They're just they, they were just born. Yeah, for sure. Hey, thanks a lot for the call this morning, Chuck in Long Beach. You're up next on Let's Talk Hookup. Hi, Chuck. Good morning. Hey guys, good morning. Happy Father's Day, y'all. You too, Hi, Chuck. Father's Day. You know, I, I've been on the prowler before. And I love the boat. It's a slow and steady ride down, but once you start trolling, it's the boat that gets bit. I don't know what it is, but man, it works. Well, that's a good thing. What gets bit best? Yes, and I'm I've got a nine year old that I want to bring out in the prowler. And what kind of accommodations would you have for like a father son coming out and you know getting to fish? If we're fishing limited load, it's just uh, straight tickets. Uh, however, we Highly encourage the kids, and my crew absolutely knows that it, it's you know the kids and the the non fishermen get above and beyond care. So we figure if if we can take care of the the junior, so dad can fish, everybody has a good time. That's right. Yeah, sweet. Okay, so what stops the boat? What trolling jig stops the boat? You know, we troll a lot of the Zucker stuff, okay. uh, and and. That being said, bright day, bright lure, dark day, dark lure is a pretty good uh, mantra. All right. And we troll a lot of zucchinis. Uh, a lot of black and purple. A lot of black and purple. It just depends on, on so the day. So mostly trolling feathers. Mostly trolling feathers. Yeah. We what don't, about like rapalas and stuff like that? You know, that? we don't troll a lot of that just because we get such a variety of skill levels on the sure. boat that uh, we we don't want to... Don't want to hurt anybody. Don't want to hurt anybody. The one thing I will say, though, is uh, last year there were times when we had a marauder in each corner. Oh, yeah. Ah! <laughs> and it and paid it, off. And it got stopped. Yeah. And it got stopped, too. Yeah. Yes, it did. So that, that's an option for sure. All right. Thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. Hey, when we come back, we're going to find out what lucky guy is going fishing aboard the Prowler. we got more Let's Talk hookup coming your way on the Mighty 1090. When it comes to fishing rods for saltwater, there's just one name you need to know, CalSTAR. Take, for example, the Graphiter series. It's a true graphite and fiberglass composite rod, the finest that's ever been built. And for anglers seeking traditional performance, durability, and quality at an affordable price, the CalSTAR West Coast series of rods and blanks are the ones for you. Their master craftsmen bring decades of rod building experience to every rod they make. So if you want your fishing rods to be truly state-of-the-art, I always recommend CalSTAR at fine tackle stores everywhere. Alaska is one of the ultimate fishing destinations in the world. This is Rock Cod Rick, and every year the one trip I look forward to is Kingfisher Charters in Sitka, Alaska. My dad and I have been going for over 15 years, and I just can't wait to go again. No one does it better than Kingfisher Charters. They offer the best service, the most comfortable accommodations, fantastic food, the finest fishing charter captains in all of Sitka, and the ultimate value. Sure, I've been to others, but time and time again, nobody beats Kingfisher Charters. You can catch huge halibut like the ones we do almost every year and salmon well sitka is famous for some of the best runs in alaska we also get plenty of rockfish and huge lingcod and when it comes to fish processing the best in alaska is kingfisher charters and listen to this it's all included in your package in fact everything is included except the tips it's truly amazing how the kingfisher crew continues the quality of service they deliver year after year come and join me on the let's talk hookup trip in june or just go when you can kingfisher charters 800 727 613 or check kingfishercharters.com. Hey, this is Captain Paul Hebert from the Wicked Pissa. My brother Bruce and I make a living catching giant bluefin tuna. In fact, I wouldn't even go fishing with any other sunglasses in Maui Jim. Put a pair of Maui Jims on and instantly the glare is gone, the UV that can damage your eyes is gone, the ocean's true colors come shining through like never before. And with more contrast and clarity, you can see the bluefin at that critical time. Take it from me. Try a pair at your local tackle shop or check out MauiJim.com. You won't believe your eyes. 
<laughs> Great boats, free parking, and a fully stocked tackle shop. Just a few of the reasons Seaforth Sport Fishing is a favorite among anglers. Come aboard top charter boats like the Aztec, Cortez, Endeavor, Eclipse, Apollo, Outer Limits, Pacific Star, El Gato Dos, Alexis, Pride, Privateer, Tribute, Pacific Voyager, and the Voyager. Plus, the new Seaforth Sea Watch in San Diego offer the finest half, three quarter, and full day trips available. Check out the full service tackle store at Seaforth Sport Fishing. And it's all run by fishermen for fishermen. 1717 Quivera Road, just off Mission Bay Drive in Mission Bay. Book online at seaforthlanding.com. XFRS 1090 AM Rosarito, Baja California. You're listening to the home of the Padres. The Padres are playing some kind of baseball. San Diego's sports leader, the mighty 1090. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup on the Mighty 1090. All right, an overnight trip, limited load, on the prowler, is going to Bernard in San Diego. Bernard, congratulations. You're going to love fishing with Captain Buzz. And real quick, I just want to say again, happy Father's Day to my dad out there. Pretty fortunate to have a guy that got me into this whole thing. Wouldn't have ever been doing it without dad and get to consider him my best buddy, and we get to go fishing all the time. So happy That's, Father's Day, Dad. Yeah, That's very your cool. Dad is very cool. Happy Father's Day to your dad and all the dads out there. And my dad hasn't been around for a long time, but he was the one. That got me into fishing uh, many, many years ago. Same with my dad. So, yep. Yeah, Long time. Cool. it is. So lucky guys. The message, dads, take your kids fishing. That's right. Take them fishing. Yeah. Buzz, they want to fish on the prowler. How do we do that? Uh, call Fisherman's Landing at 619-221-8500, or you can check uh, us out on, on the website, Fisherman's Landing, or on the prowler website. Yeah, and take our take heed. Book now. <laughs> exactly. We're telling you. The August thing is huge. Just yeah. hearing, hearing that, that, like, that I, light bulb went off in yeah. my mind. I, mean. I don't want to hear you say, man, I should have listened to you. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> right. <I> go now. <laughs> so book it now. It's going to hey, be good. Yeah. Hey, thanks a lot for listening today. We're going to be back next Saturday and Sunday. Next Saturday, like we said, Ollie and Jason from BD Outdoors and Fishdope.com, the Yellowtail Shootout. Right here on Let's Talk Hookup. We're going to be shooting it out right here on Let's Talk Hookup <laughs> next Saturday. And then next Sunday, Captain John Conniff from the Islander and Rick Jensen from Sport Fishing Financial will be in the studio with us. Thanks for listening today. We'll see you next Saturday and Sunday right here on the Mighty 1090. Stay tuned. Mike Week Radio is next.